Hello everyone, as you know I am Paul your eHobby guy and today we're going to look at taking a standard relay and wiring it in such a way so that it latches into the energized state with a single pulse. We'll go through the schematic, I'll explain everything about it, then we'll go through a full build on breadboard and demonstrate its full latching capability. You can't buy a latching relay. It does cost more money and with this simple method you can save yourself some money and probably get it done a lot faster. This is a circuit I used many times in practice and it was very effective. Let's jump right in. Okay, as usual, first thing we'll take a look at the schematic. Here is a conventional relay here represented by the coil here. I just drew a four pole double throw just to show you that it is a relay. Here we have a five volt DC power source. This is a momentary normally open switch. And so if we press this switch we energize the coil. All of these poles will switch over. When I release it de-energizes. In this case it's just a conventional relay and it does not latch. Uh, let me just take a moment to say I did release a video explaining everything in detail about relays. I will place a link in the description down below and at the end of this video. If you didn't see it, I highly recommend you watch it. It explains everything in detail about relays. Okay, so what do we have to do to make this relay latching? First, we're going to jump the 5 volts DC all the way over to one of the normally open contacts. You'll see the purpose of this in a minute. Next we're going to wire the two of the commons together. This is not necessary for the latching and unlatching. What it will do is pass power to a load. We'll see that in a minute. Next we are going to jump from the other side of the momentary normally open switch. We're going to jump from the common of the same contact that's bringing in the 5 volts here. We're going to jump from this common all the way over to the other side of this momentary normally open switch. And finally we're going to add up here a momentary normally closed switch. To explain what happens here, here we have 5 volts live coming up to here and it's also available all the way to around here. But it's not able to energize the coil. And so when we do press and release this, what we're doing is we're bringing 5 volts directly to the coil, energizing it, making this contact switch. When this contact switches, it brings the 5 volts and bypasses the normally open switch and brings it down to this side of the coil. So that when you release this, we're still getting 5 volts and current flowing through here all the way around to this side of the coil. You could attach a load to this contact and the 5 volts source here would provide power to this load, whatever it might be. It could be a circuit, a bulb, anything that would take the same voltage as the coil voltage. In this state, the relay is de-energized. Now we'll pretend I'm pressing this momentary switch. It energized and you can see all poles switched here. The arrows represent the current flow. And so current is flowing around here, flowing through here, and now breaks into two directions. One coming around this way to feed the coil and keep it latched, keep it energized. And the other down here flowing down to your resistive load, whatever that might be. So this button is used to energize and this button is used to de-energize. When we look back at the current flow, if we interrupt the current flow here by pressing this, we're opening the circuit and breaking the current flow and as a result the coil de-energizes and we're back to a normal state. This arrangement is showing the use in the energized state of a completely separate circuit using one of the contacts in the four pole double throw relay. And so with this in mind I think we can move this over to the breadboard. I will include a link to this schematic in the description down below. Okay, so here's a standard relay. The coils are the two pins down here. This side being the positive, this side being the negative. So you can see the positive rail here is feeding into this switch, which is a normally open switch. 
and coming around here to the positive uh, side of the coil. If I press this normally opened momentary switch, I'm going to energize this. And here is a positive coming into the common. And coming out of the normally open is this is my load. And it's just going to be indicated here by this LED. So if I press this button, I energize the coil. Current can flow through here, isolated from the coil, and provide current to this load. If I let go, it goes off. So this is a conventional relay. It's not latching. We're going to modify this so that it does latch. First, I just want to show you this. Says this is the only normally closed momentary switch that I could find in my pile. And so I just I soldered these two wires to make it breadboard friendly. So I'm just going to put these and push this down over here. And when I need to press this, I will show it to you. Then I'm going to jump to 5 volts into one side of the normally closed. And from the other side of the normally closed, I am going to jump it into the normally opened. I am going to jump the two commons. And I need a jumper from this common to this side of the normally open switch. And that completes the latching circuit. Let me just bring this normally closed and let's give it a try. So you can see the relay latched into the energized state. Now let me press the normally closed. And now it's unlatched. Latch. Unlatch. Latch. Unlatch. So you can see this is a very simple way of using a single pull, double throw portion of a relay. To wire it in such a way that makes the relay latch using two momentary switches. One normally open and one normally closed. That's it for today. If you like this video in any way, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Follow me on social media. Thank you for taking the time to watch. See you next time.